Oh, hey, what's up, you guys? While you're under here, you want to see something cool? Check it out. Freaking shredded, dude. We're uh, about 50 miles out of Yuma. Got my first flat, pretty substantial one too, so swapping it out. Piece of cake, let's whip it. Ever since I was a kid, all I wanted to be was an explorer. Sail the seven seas, find new worlds. But Uncle D, everything's already been found. What? Like everything? Well, yeah. Oh, man. Well, so much for that. But if I can't be an explorer, I can still be an adventurer. So I bought a motorhome and I'm hitting the open road. My name is Dustin Porter and this is Destination Adventure. Today's the day, you guys. It's a big day. For the first time since heading south, the boat is finally hitting the water. Out here at Fisher's Landing in Arizona, we're gonna launch in Martinez Lake and go for a cruise up the Colorado. And best of all, my friend Radine has flown in to join me for some adventure fun and the Mexico crossing. Pretty exciting stuff happening here. Ready? Ready? It's pronounced Sluts with it. <laughs> Didn't even read the script. Check out this person's freaking awesome water slide. Whoever lives in this house, if you ever see this video, you get a 10 out of 10. It's Destination Adventure Certified. There we go. Three days of good karma right there. It's important to have a good set of rubber boots just in case you need to get in the water. <laughs> Out here on the Colorado, it's all about wearing your kill switch. If you don't wear your kill switch and you fall out, the boat's gone. Gonna take a crowd. find something. There's nowhere to stop the boat, but there's, I'm assuming an old mine up here. There's a platform up there and then a channel through the rocks. And then that pipe coming down or a cable maybe. Anyways, so we are looking for a hole in the reeds, but on the other side of the river, I wonder what made this one. Check that thing out. <laughs> oh, I think this is it. I think we're at our turn here. Here we go. There's a more passable hole in the weeds. Oh, Jesus. Just about broke the fly rod. Saved it though. <laughs> here we are. Oh, there's boaters in here. And they definitely just heard me. 
almost break my fly rod. Trying to act not embarrassed. Any luck? No, You'll get it. <laughs> Okie dokie, let's go for a hike. Here we go. This is today's first, maybe only destination on the Riv. I'm not entirely sure, but we stopped here when I was filming last time. Pretty cool spot. This is called the Watchman's Cabin. I don't know what he was watching for, but the cabin's all made out of stone. It's in really good shape and it's just full of these old relics. I'm pretty sure people just find this stuff when they're out hiking in the mountains, bring it down here and leave it. Pretty cool though. <laughs> Some of the stuff's definitely more modern than the old the old timer had. Pretty neat though. I know that the summertime here is like a thousand degrees hotter, but this old cabin here being stone, it's surprisingly cool in there. Pretty nice spot for a relax. Should have brought some water. Made the executive decision to leave the pants here to dry. Let's whip it. That massive chunk of quartz. Ole. Wow, this thing's made of a cement inside. I know you guys have heard me say it like 50 times now, but this desert stuff is so much different than back home. It's, things really last out here because there's no water. To make them deteriorate so i have no idea the age of any of this stuff this is pretty interesting this is a bench or a seat out of a pickup truck not sure how they would have got that down here and that was something to hold a bearing there not sure what the rest of this thing was Must have been quite the setup here at one point in time. Well, there's another something up there we'll go see. This whole area down here is all flat and parts of it are cement. This is actually pottery right here. Huh. That's interesting. Never seen a green plate like that. I just noticed this piece right here. This is out of the bottom of a kiln or a forge. One of the two. Curious what they were mining here. Back home, pretty much anytime you find a lot of quartz like this, it's gold. Out here, it's a high probability it would have been silver or lead. There's a little road or a trail running up along here. I think we'll follow that up and around, back down, hop in the boat. See this circle right here. I'm guessing there was a water tank there. So then you can look down. Right there, there's an old trough, the water trough, and then just up there, it's a mine shaft. 
I think it was just maybe a hole in the rocks there, but I can see bat gates over it. Um, almost all the mine shafts here have like grates over top of it so the bats can come in and out and the people don't bother them. There you go. These are bat grates. I don't see any bats. Really gearing up for some road rash on the buns here. I know the desert gets terrible flooding when it rains. This whole wash that we're walking in could have been just full of stuff back in the day. All been washed away now. I do want to go take a look at this old water trough though. If anyone knows why this stuff is cemented, let me know down in the comments. I've never seen that before. I'm assuming it's just to keep it watertight, but I think the wood would do the trick. We made it. Time to retrieve my pants and get out of here. I'm not interested in entering the bass tournament or anything but I'd love to do some fishing while we're here on the riv. Look at this fly. Well, it's a frog, not a fly. <laughs> I've had this thing for like probably five years. I've never used it, but I've heard frogs are good for bass. So we're gonna give it a try. Alrighty, Roo, here we go. I haven't the slightest idea how to catch a bass, but we're gonna go for it. Well, so far the old frog, unsuccessful. Moving on from here will be all new area for me. So just gonna go check things out. If I see a spot that looks extra fishy, stop and give her a try. Kind of strange, when we were at the Grand Canyon, it's Colorado River going through there as well, but it's just brown and muddy. Here it's beautiful and green. Look at this spot we're at. Unbelievable. Reminds me of back home, except for this green is not from glaciers. I don't honestly know what it's from. watching for weeds. You never know when you might pick up a weed. <laughs> go. 
made her just before the sun went down. Beautiful spot in here, great day on the water. Stoke for tomorrow. Today's the big day, everybody. Mexico border crossing. What could go wrong? I'm so excited! You shout like that, they, they put you in jail. Right away. No trial, no, no nothing. Journalists, we have a special jail for journalists. You're driving too fast, jail. <laughs> Never drive fast. Slow, jail. Oh. You're charging too high prices for uh, sweaters. You make an appointment with a dentist and you don't show up, believe it or not, jail, right away. We have the best patients in the world because of jail. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. Here we go, coming up to the border. And somebody gave us a hint that we should go in with the commercial trucks instead of cars. We're not commercial, but I'm gonna give it a try anyways. This is only for commercial? Okay. So even if I let you through, the Mexican customs might not okay. like that. So okay, okay. And they might find you or whatnot. For so. sure. Thank you. Thanks, gentlemen. Just like that, that was Mexico. <laughs> That's it. Didn't even look at the passports. I feel like there's gonna be another step. We never got a stamp in our passport or anything. So far going pretty good though. Use the right two lanes to turn right onto Calzada Abelardo El Rodriguez. Bienvenidos amigos. We are officially in Mexico, which is pretty exciting. And that border crossing was way, way easier than I thought. But I do want to give a great big thanks to my new amigo, Tony. We haven't officially met yet, but I'm hoping to meet up with him down the peninsula. But he hooked me up with every bit of information I could possibly need for both the border crossing and my whole trip down the peninsula. It depends how far I get. But today the goal is San Felipe. Booked a spot there, right on the beach. San Felipe got in a little bit later than we wanted last night which is not the best because it's number one rule not to drive at nighttime in Mexico but it is what it is this is gonna be home base for a few days weather permitting we'll just see what happens but let's go check out the city What's up? Didn't see you there. But halfway down the boardwalk here, there's a bar with swings. So we're letting out our inner child. And then at the end of the boardwalk, a whole bunch of cool stuff I want to show you. I'm gonna put down a couple girly drinks and then mosey over there. Well, there's some pretty cool stuff here I want to show you guys. And I'm gonna have to end this video pretty soon. So let's go check it out. This used to be bowling alley I don't know what's happened in San Felipe if it's because of COVID or what there's a lot of stuff that is abandoned here we've already kind of taken a peek at this and there's no way to get inside but we'll take a look at that and 
then there's another place up here. Then there's a shipwreck. There's a slight possibility somebody's living in that shipwreck, but we're still gonna go take a peek. Pretty fancy place here. Look at that, even the neon sign's still up there. Can't believe somebody hasn't bought this up and turned it into something. Really nice bones on this. It's all boarded up pretty well. I mean, it's been, of course, like windows smashed out and everything, but I'd say it's worth the salvage. I wish I could get inside, but can't really risk trespassing in a foreign country. We also came and took a little peek at this spot already and it blows me away that no one has bought these but when i was taking a closer look it's kind of weird the way they build this stuff here it's like foam with a little bit of cement over top of it so not really the best quality would have been a really neat spot though But unfortunately, it has been totally trashed. And burnt at some point. love these brick arches actually I wonder if maybe this place shut down because of a fire that makes sense freaking rooftop party dude Okay, one more stop, going to check out the shipwreck. What'd you find here, a nice fire pit? Yeah. Unfortunately, our last stop, the shipwreck, it did actually have somebody living in it, so we didn't get the chance to go over and check that out. But before I wrap this video, I just want to take a moment and say thank you to all of you guys for joining me on this big ridiculous adventure of mine. When I was working on cruise ships, I had the amazing opportunity to travel all over the world, but doing it on my own in the motorhome as a business with this YouTube channel, that's something totally different. And now I've been full time in there for two years, traveled through two entire countries, and now we're here in Mexico, and none of that would be possible without you guys. I'm so excited to be here officially and sharing these Southern Mexico adventures with you guys. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. As always, take nothing but pictures, leave nothing but footprints. I'll catch you on the next one.